wild horses everywhere. I don't think it's quite appropriate to go bollock naked here. Oh, my iceberg of chili con carne. <laughs> it's looking good, looking good. Dinner, four, one. Thought I would just share this with you. I'm just chilling in the van, still in the New Forest by Hatchet Pond, doing some editing for the last few hours, and then I hear some noise outside. And uh, yeah, this is now my view. <laughs> just some cows <laughs> mooing away. And there's one. This is why I love this spot, just nature seems to come to you here. Bloody birds everywhere now. Oh, sorry, didn't mean to scare you. Okay, so I haven't moved from the park up where I've been in the new forest for only a day. I stayed here last night and I've just been in the van all day doing some editing. I really want to go to the gym, but unfortunately the closest gym is like 25 minutes away. That's not unfortunate, I'm just too lazy to drive there. So I figured I might as well do my own workout here. I need to stay on top of the fitness and exercise for the brain and mental stimulation. Right, see you in a bit, Mary. Look after yourself. I'll be back, baby. Not really sure what to do with my key because I don't fancy bringing it with me. But I think I'll have to. Probably doesn't help that I've left the windows open. I hate running so much, but it's good for the soul and gets the endorphins going. Oh, oh. That was a big one, made it. I'm not gonna be getting much running done if I'm stopping to film, but look at this. This is what you're running through. Wild horses everywhere. It is just stunning around here and this Makes me feel good seeing nature in a different way and doing some exercise. So I'm getting double the endorphins and the nature. Bloody lovely. Well, that's a 20 to 25 minute run done. No idea how far that was because I'm not keeping track just need to get back in the flow of things. Oh. Right, that is the workout done. That is my productivity today. Has been at a good level. You're probably thinking, Will, you've gone for a run, you've done a bit of a workout, you're gonna be sweating, you must absolutely stink. And you're right, <laughs> I do. But there's something I haven't showed you yet. So, in my garage area, I've got everything kind of organized. But in this back right hand side, I've actually got a shower point. All I have to do is connect into this. Turn this round. And now I have water and a shower out the back. 
I actually swapped this for a different shower head, one that Neil recommended because this one actually has an on and off button, whereas the Bullfinch shower head that it comes with is just a trigger. So I can literally stand now out of the back of my van, have a nice warm shower because all of the water is being heated by the bobble heater. And how awesome is that to have an outdoor shower with hot, hot water out in nature. I have used it a couple of times already, not in a situation and a location quite like this. The previous two times I've used it, I was bollock naked in the industrial estate where I keep my van. So this is a little bit different. I don't think it's quite appropriate to go bollock naked here. So uh, yeah, we'll keep things PG for this video. Oh, don't put your shower head on your bed. Ah, bloody boiling. Rub-a-dub-dub, -dub. thanks for the carb. That is bloody delightful. <laughs> Honestly, wow. That is my first ever nature shower. Quite like this experience anyway. Right, how do I look? I smell clean, I feel clean. On the menu tonight is some leftover chili con carne, but I don't actually have any rice. So we're gonna have to find a shop somewhere local, go and grab some rice, and then we're gonna come back here to this beautiful spot where there's still absolutely no one. I can't believe I pretty much had this spot for the last couple of nights all by myself. So we're gonna go grab some rice, get some chili con carne on the go and chill out this evening. It's only the second night of full-time van life, but <laughs> today has been very productive. Helped my friend build the wardrobe, edited last week's video, gone for a run, done my back stretches, had an outdoor shower so I'm clean, and now again, some healthy dinner. Clear, clear. Oh. What a beautiful evening, wow a wee wah. Went and picked up some rice. I'm back at the spot that I've been at. Now we're gonna get some dinner on the go. I have had this frozen chili con carne in my van literally for the last month. Paul's van, you know who you are. This is your chili con carne from the Stratford event. It's been in the freezer, so should be absolutely fine. That is why I went and picked up some rice to obviously have with that tonight. I'm excited because it means I can now use the rice cooker for the first time in the new van, which I'm excited about because I just love using the rice cooker. It's dusty. I have not used it in a long time. Plug that into the inverter. Oops, I've already left the inverter on. That's not very clever of me, but anyway. Uh, what we got here, some basmati. Right, this is how much rice would I need for me? Oh, fuck. <gasps> I am going to find that rice everywhere. And I don't have a hoover and my OCD is gonna go through the roof. Bollocks, that was so stupid of me. <sighs> Doesn't it come with a sticker to reseal this thing? Oh God, rice is everywhere. The way I usually do rice is, that's quite a lot I think, oh God. I'll have it tomorrow anyway. I just double the amount of water to rice. That's just my very simple method. Put it in there, turn this on. Put it to cook, put the lid on and wait for that to boil up 
and hopefully in, I don't know, 20 minutes-ish, I should have some nice sticky rice. And I somehow need to clean up all of this rice that's just scattered all over the place. Oh dear, it's going everywhere. Oh, and uh, yeah, I really screwed up after my shower earlier because I've got a wet bed, which makes me look like I've wet the bed. Admittedly, I did used to wet the bed till I was about 12 years old. Don't tell anybody that. But I can assure you at 27 years old, that's not a wet bed from me pissing my pants. That's just from me stupidly putting the shower head on the bed earlier. So as the days go by, the weeks, and I get into the routine, I'm sure I'm gonna learn as I already am of the best methods and the best ways to do things when you live in such a small space, i.e. don't put a wet shower head on your bed where you've got to sleep. So tonight, looks like I'll be sleeping on this side. My iceberg of chili con carne. <laughs> oh my God, this is ridiculous. <laughs> literally sawing a lump of chili con carne. Uh, that can all go back in there. Save that for a rainy day. And this can be dinner tonight. <laughs> oh my God. That looks awful, but I can assure you it tastes delicious. Holy, what's going on here with the rice? It's looking good, looking good. Steam my face, lovely. Have a nice facial in the van. Hey, good looking. What you got cooking? Okay, unfortunately, I don't think the rice has quite come out the way I wanted it to. I think, okay, actually it's not too bad. I think I put too much water in it, to be honest. It's turned into a bit like custard, or what is it, rice pudding. Maybe I'll let it steam for a little bit longer. And some cow-packed chili con carne. Literally, cow-packed. Either I need to stop eating so much cheese, or I need to do some more running. And uh, I think it's gonna be the latter. Dinner for one. Yet again. Pretty sure it shouldn't be chewy. I really messed up that rice. I'll do better next time, I promise. <laughs> 